Hello everyone, welcome to today, which is Wednesday, and I have actually got to record this video, which I am recording now, which you are going to see, I have to edit it, and then I have to upload it by well, up by half five to six o'clock, depending on when I have it, edited it. But fingers crossed, we get this done by half five to six o'clock today. So <clears throat> today I am going to be doing subscription products, which I received in my subscription boxes. Now I don't know whether anyone has tried to like tried any of these videos out I'm not too sure but I just thought it'd be a fun idea to do because I have a few makeup products however I don't have a full face I do already have foundation on which is the Revlon um, which I am just currently using on a whenever I go out basis um, and it's their Revlon Col Colour Stay Makeup Foundation for Combination and Oily Skin. And it is in the shade 150 Buff. Now, I got this, um, say like a month or two ago, and it's just a good match for my skin. Because the foundations I have been using have not been like colour matched to my face and I've had to use like tan just to like get an even balance on the foundations what I do have which are darker for some reason I don't even know what my skin type is whether it's pale whether it's fair whether it's natural neutral whatever anyway foundation is done and then i just threw a bit of powder on which is the rimmel state matte pressed powder which is my go-to now i have been out today so i just don't like the very basic minimum when i'm just running in errands or when I'm just going to the shop so yeah and obviously in the subscription boxes which I did receive in July which has just gone now it's August I did receive uh, two subscription boxes which are the products which I am using and these are the products from CC Beauty and also in lovemebeauty.com and I didn't have like all the products so parts because I don't know what I'm going to be using and we are also going to be using a bronzer so and also a highlighter because we don't have a highlighter and like so, the products we are going to be using today which are from the subscription boxes are some new Eco Tools Enhancing Eye Set. So we've got two eye brushes, which I believe one is for buffing. Well, they're just like the four brush set, which um, we're going to open. We also have some gel eyelash gel, which I have never heard of from um, Tally Cat, which. I will be also um, doing a full review face well, full review on the products which I am using from the subscription box. I'm not going to review the eyeshadows because I've obviously used them before and we are we also have some eyeliner pencils which are aqua eyes and we're just going to swatch that and it is very very dark and what I like. So we have two. I don't know why they give me two. Then we have a Dior. Is it? I believe we do have a Dior lip stick. And again, we'll just swatch that. And yeah, it's a gorgeous red. And I am not a 
Hairs and Who Suits Red Lipstick, but we're just going to go with it for today. This is in the shade Magu. I'm not sure if you can even see that. Can you see it? I'm sorry if it's um, a bit blurry. But yeah, I'll re I'll write it down in the description box. So we also have what else do we have from the subscription box? We also have a brush from YSL, and we have like a contour slash. It's very soft and uh, like bronzer brush. It is a two headset brush, and it's just. Very cute and I'm excited to use the brushes and I believe that is, they are like that one. We have five products so I do believe like these are the products which we're going to test out today. So I do apologise firstly for my last video because of the, the sounds and because of the music which was too loud. Hopefully the sound is working on my phone today and let's hope all goes well. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Do -do -do -do. We have to actually put some music on before we start, eh? Okay, so we are going to go in actually we are going to go in with the uh, anyway bronzer which I have actually only used once. I'm just going to... I feel like I should like move closer. I'm just gonna like put it all over my face just because I don't feel like it's very pigmented. It just gives like a quick like nice sort of glow to the face when you just want a bit of colour. So that's that done. Now we are going to go on with the eyes because that is this is the sm this is for smudging. This side is for blending. And then we have this side for shades. It's saying on the brush and then this is to like define. Which is I love like brushes that let me know what it, the tip is called and that. So right. we are going to go in with um I, we have two MUA eyeshadow palettes and I don't really have a translucent powder well, eyeshadow to start off with so I am just going to go in with the MUA um, Amour eyeshadow palette and we're just going to use, we're not going to use that brush, we're just going to use like the, the bottom shade which is this one and I have used like these like quite a lot. You can see that like I absolutely love like MUA, like the products they're just like beautiful and they stay on all day or however like there is a lot of fall off on this product. So I do apologise also because I don't have like a, um a mirror in front of me because I haven't got a small enough mirror to have right now. Anyway, let's just get into this video. So. Okay, I'm just going to like refer to the camera even though I, I won't be able to see what I'm doing but it's best quality so I do not have a mirror so I'm just going to try my best and 
Try to even create an eye look. Ah, this could go really horribly wrong because I don't have any mirror right now. And yeah, we're just gonna go with whatever we've got. So translucent shade is done and then we're just gonna go in with this pinky I don't even know what it was, like this pink shimmer colour and this is also it hasn't even come up on my hand but yeah and then we're just gonna go for like a very I'm just going to use the smudge end again It hasn't even come off on the brush, but yeah, we're just gonna go with it. I mean, it does really come out when I use these white shadows with my fingers, but the whole purpose of this video is to try out the products which I received in my subscription boxes and that is what I am going to do whether I get a good look or not. Okay, so let's go in with a blending brush. Now this is the blending side so just going to blend all that in together. In with the MUA Makeup Academy, and this is in the Fire Fixin 15 shade palette. If you can see that now, I am feeling like there are a lot of pinks in this, and I am feeling quite girly actually. One sec, the Dior lipstick is like a ready pink. I am just going to go in with this, this one at the top, which I have never used, and it's coming out like quite a coral colour, so we're just going to go in with the shape again, there's a little bit of fall out, but not like dramatically. I will in a minute just like reverse the camera again just so I can see what I am doing. Just right now I can't see a thing because I don't have no mirror and I don't really want to feel film in the bathroom today. So yeah. I do apologize about the lighting, it is like sunny outside but also dull, keeps going dull. And then I tried to put my light on before and then I've constantly like turned it off. Okay, so watching this back, this is where the sound breaks once again on my phone. So I have to do a voiceover, which I have never done on my videos before and it was something different. So I do apologize for this. And now we are just blending out the pink shade what I have applied onto my eye I have the, the translucent shade just because I wanted a more girly look today and we are going in with this other like more darker shade even though they look so similar to each other the one I am about to use and swatch is just more of a darker pink shade aside from the cuddle one what I applied before I apply this shade and this brush is so soft like I've never used a brush like 
this and I was very happy with the chosen brush which I decided to use and obviously trying to do my eyeshadow without a mirror is hard work so I have just reversed the camera just so I can see myself and to just make sure that everything is set in its place I didn't use any concealer on my face today it was just the foundation and the pressed powder which you would have seen obviously earlier on at the start of the video but now I am just blending it out all the eyeshadow and also the side of the brush was very soft and it just felt like cotton wool that's the best way I could describe the the feeling of the brush onto my eyes okay so eyes are almost done well I just felt like doing a very basic pink eye nude and I am going in with this brown shade to do my eyebrows with I'm just going to colour them in with the other end of the brush I don't really do a precise eyebrow or I don't really tend to what's the word I don't like why do, do, I don't like try to do a precise shape of my eyebrows I just follow the line of which they go in and leave it at that just because I wasn't doing anything after this video I just wanted to relax and just chill out and that's why I'm just going for like a simple girly evening look so I am just going to now use the smudge brush I'm going to go in with a like when I swatched it it was like a gold but it had like a slight hint of brown to it so what I did is I just smudged some onto the water line of my eyes and just it just helped to blend it like all the eyeshadows together which I don't usually do but just I just wanted to try out the smudge brush and it was very like again it was smooth and it was very soft on to the eyes which I will definitely be using once again okay so now I am going in with this um, aqua eyes eyeliner and I am just applying this again onto my waterline I just uh, this is again something I don't usually do on a daily basis but because I had the product and I wanted to test it out and yeah it was very smooth and I don't know whether it was waterproof. I will do like a ah, like full review on that when I go out. Now I am just applying the eyelash enhancer. I mean, it's eyelash gel, but it had no. How can I describe this? It had no volume to it. It did lengthen my eye, my eyelashes quite a little, as I didn't use any. I didn't use any eyelash curlers today. I just cause I couldn't be bothered, and it was okay. I mean, there was no like miracle to it. So now I am just applying some highlighter which I didn't get or receive in any of my subscription boxes. This is just a Primark highlighter and it was like £3 or something and I just because highlighters are one of my top favourites, like top two favourite makeup products at the moment. I just wanted to give my like makeup look a subtle glow and I... I because I have only tried this out once, I just wanted to try it out again with the rest of the products that I decided to try out today. Obviously, these are all the all the products that I have tried out today. 
oh like do go well together and they blend perfectly out so i was very happy with this makeup look and obviously you can't see from the one side of my face to the other because of the lighting and i do apologize for that I'm just everything is done okay so the one last thing that I did almost nearly forget to put on was the Dior <laughs> lipstick and the reason why I did go for the pink eyeshadow was to also match the lipstick because it did have like a hint of pink although it was a red lipstick and the overall look I mean it was okay so this is the final look and I was very impressed with all of the products that I used even though some of them went from the subscription box and I do apologize for that but hopefully like in the my next like this month's subscription box I will be hopefully having products which will be for a full base and I will be uploading every Wednesday and Sunday I mean the times will be different from like 5:30 up to 7 30 till 8 p.m but all these are all the products that i did get in my subscription box and i will be doing a review on each of the particular products because they were just so softening on the eyes and they just like cut on bolts but that's why I could just grab it now I did use the YSL contour side of the brush but I don't feel like as though I got to test out the brush fully because of the products that I did have and I wasn't able to use the other end of the brush so I will be doing this testing this out in another video for you if that is what you would like to see I mean the brush is very smooth and it blends out very well and even like you could go like very well into the, like the inner corners of like your hair which I found it very easy to control and it is very easy to bring with you and I just like the I just like the overall so this is my overall look of today's makeup I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up